day 29, everybody. The penultimate of the 30 day challenge. We've decided to get away from the marina and um, have a little wander. You're never gonna guess where we are. You can probably see a church in the background somewhere, but no, we're not going to church. Um, we're in Stoke Bruin or at the top car park of Stoke Bruin by, I think it's St. Mary the Virgin Church. But we'll go and have a quick look at it. But um, we thought, although we've been to Stoke Bruin a lot and it's been in our vlogs before, but not really about Stoke Bruin. So I quite enjoyed doing the ones about um, a couple of the villages around us. And Stoke Bruin is obviously a very popular place. We'll have a quick look around the church and I think Lee's gonna do a bit of the commentating on this because um, we've got some notes and everything. We made the effort. So I'll speak to you in a minute. Must admit I've never been in this church either. But this was um, built in the 14th and 15th centuries, but it has got origins going back into the 12th century. And um, it's basically just limestone. It's like the Northampton stone that we use around here, lead lined roof. The church was kind of restored a bit in 1853 by Mr. Law, E.F. Law, and the vestry and um, organ chambers and that were done. And I think alterations by Swift and Harris in 1879, but it went through a much bigger refurb, a full restoration in 1901. So there you go, that's the church, it's not open by the looks of it. A beautiful building. That's a bit of a weird thing, isn't it, everybody? Adopt a grave? Goodness me. It's the old ones that have, well, as it says, many longer people can hmm. Is it beer o'clock yet? <laughs> It might be in a little while, we might end up in the pub. You never know. This looks like it was an old dry dock. You can see there's still a hull in there of kinds. And here is the lovely picturesque village of Stoke Bruin. In 2011 census, it showed just 373 people lived here. So there you go. Right, well this isn't a dry dock as we first thought. In the 1830s, the London and Birmingham Railway Company was competing for business in bulk haulage. The canal needed to carry more goods for less money. Bigger boats weren't an option as they wouldn't fit in the locks, so additional locks were built alongside the originals. This allowed boats to pass each other instead of having to wait their turn. But despite this investment, cargoes requiring speedy delivery, such as livestock and parcels, were lost to the railway. The dual locks were only used between 1835 and the 1850s. This empty lock is the original, built in 1804. Stoke Bruin is mentioned in the Doomsday Book in 1086 as Stoche, meaning an outlying farmstead or hamlet. The form Stoke Brewer is used in 20, 1254, sorry, being a suffix by the Brywear family. Oh, sorry, Hector of the manor house. The village contains many traditional stone and thatched cottages. It's situated on the Grand Union Canal. The nearby country estate of Stoke Park along Shutlanger Road is occasionally open to the public in August. But all that remains of the ha main house are the two east and west wings known as Stoke Park Pavilions. The village is home to one of the three museums owned and run by the Canal and River Trust. The others are at Ellesmere Port and Gloucester Docks. And there it is over there. This is quite 
quite cool. I never noticed this before in Stoke, where maybe this is a new thing. They're like lock gates, aren't they? It's really nice. And the cottages in that here are lovely as well, to be honest with you. Look at them. I think we did look at the prices of these once, and they were um, gulp. So that, that I just showed you there is a Weybridge. There you go, you can read that sign if you want to. There's London weed again, everybody. If you remember a couple of vlogs ago, I was in Blissworth, <coughs> and uh, that's the one that went under the bridge. Because what is weed? What is blooming London weed? Oops. I think if memory serves me correctly, we walk through here and we get on, on top of the tunnel. And there used to be a railway station up here, believe it or not. A railway used to run above the tunnel. So, long, long time ago. Oh, nearly tripped over. <laughs> That'd have been funny. Now remember guys, I hate heights, so I'm not probably not gonna go. Oh no, I think you can get down there though. I think it's down here. Oh. Jesus, be careful. You tripped over again, everybody. You see his shoes. Ah, this is. We're right above the tunnel entrance now, everybody. So I'll try and give you a look. Here we go. It's a shame I didn't bring my really long stick. Because I could have shown you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, goes a little bit further. I'll try again. This bit here is um, a section of the middle of the tunnel when it was rebuilt. So it's obviously been taken out. I don't know if you can see it over there on the left hand side, there's like a black plaque and that's where the water line was. So that shows you the depth of the tunnel basically and the height. And just behind us is the tunnel. Now you heard me say about the spooky stories of the tunnel when I was down at the other side of this tunnel in Blissworth. Well, you're never going to believe what we just heard. And I'm not joking, right? I'm just going to show you something in a moment. Right here is the old blacksmiths. We were up doing that woodland walk a moment ago, which you saw. And Lee will back me up on this. We just heard hammering, like on iron, metal against metal. And it was coming from here. Obviously, we couldn't see from up the top. But yeah, that's bizarre. Spooky. I'm not actually joking, by the way. Here comes a trip boat. 
think it's about 25 minutes from Stoke Bruin into the tunnel a little bit and back out again and back down. Quite nice for people that haven't been on a boat before. Hello. comes it stays better than Hannah does <laughs> is that good fun <laughs> to rain. Oh dear. It was June. I'll tell you what both me and Lee have um, kind of noticed on the canal is it's just not as busy as they used to be. We honestly think that the canals just aren't busy. This is Stoke Bruin which is a very very popular spot and we haven't seen a private boat at all. We've been here what an hour, hour and a half? Hmm. Which is strange. Well, well yeah, oh yes, with boats but with people. There's a few I mean, people the about. The museum isn't open on a Sunday nor is the cafe so uh... That may have kept a few people away. Yeah, the, the, the general public meandering around, but the boats, as I say, mm. it just seems... I mean, we used to do a lot of cruising. Obviously, we don't so much anymore. But we've been down here and it's always been packed. We've spent days down here with the grandchildren and it's been packed. Not, I'm not talking about people, I mean, boats everywhere. Not just in the school holidays. I mean, this is a weekend, remember? Mm. So you would expect it to be a bit more. But then we've also heard from other people, haven't we, about the welding. What were, the, what, what were they saying here? They didn't want to go the Lanky. Uh, no, the Leicester line. And why so was that? It was just terrible. It was worse than the Grand Union. We thought that for was what? bad enough. For what? being everything overgrown, trees hanging over, wilding. So that's like the wilding. This is mm. what we spoke about a few vlogs ago when we went uh, for a walk up to Gnomes Bridge. I think it was the very first one in this 30 day challenge. Was um, I was bemoaning the fact about the wilding that I think it's dangerous. And there are now people out there that are avoiding certain canals on certain stretches because of the wild and there's nowhere to moor and they feel that it's just not fun anymore. Mm. Do you, I, I have to think they're doing it on purpose. Mm. Although she did say it was very quiet, well, like we've just said, because she was there's a certain spot that they like, but she was thinking, oh, please, 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 let there be a spot there. And there was, she said, but then that's unheard of. Yeah. You know, this time of the year. I say that I think the wilding is putting a hell of a lot of people mm. off. I really, really do. I mean, it puts us off a bit as well, didn't it? I would have probably got my ass out, my thumb out of my ass and got our boat sorted. But having seen, you know, the last couple of times we've been out, it's difficult to moor. Mm. And I say, Lee's had her foot down a bloody hole and she was so lucky not to break her leg. And I just, honestly, honestly, I honestly think it's disgusting. Mm, it it's not cheap to have a boat anymore. And um, I say, our, not, don't worry about the mooring fees. That's a completely different thing. I get that. But our license fee, how much? It was 1,200 odd pound. Twelve hundred pound for a forty-five foot boat. So if you've got an eighty foot, which is the biggest, seventy-five foot, what's the seventy-five foot are going to cost? Seventy-two. What's the height? Seventy-two, 72 is it? Seventy-two is the biggest. Okay, That's so what? The working boats. Then. So yeah, so they're going to be paying three and a half, four thousand pound. <laughs> Give them a laugh just to float on the canal and not be out of more anywhere because it's too weedy. Weedy. No wonder that boat's called London Weed. <laughs> hey, it's pretty apt these days. It's found lots of weed. That's why it's called him. So there you go. I mean, this is still kept nice down here, obviously, because this is a bit of the public, see. But, you know, I know full where we go to the other side of the tunnel where we, I was the other day, and you take a walk along the towpath there. I could see from where we were standing how overgrown it is. And as I say, come on, CRT, you're just taking the mick now. You really, I mean, you really are. But is this some sort of directive? Because they don't like us, do they? The, the governments don't like us because we're too free spirited. They're trying to stop our stoves, they're trying to stop red diesel. They're basically trying to stop us being able to exist on the canal, in my opinion. Mm. That's what it feels like. And I know a lot of other boaters feel the same thing. But yeah, but if they start taking that away, have a guess what? 
places like this will have no tourism because there's nothing to see. And that'll be the same everywhere. Mm. Any nice little village where there's a canal going through, it'll just be left to the rich. Yeah, and you often get a lock, you know, a pub by a lock, don't you? Yeah. And, uh, but yeah it's and you have to have boats going through it yeah, for it to be interesting. It's a bit boring sitting outside it. Yeah. So yeah, we've not, on. not seen one person go through a lock today either. Yeah. Mm. So, I don't know. What do you guys think? I mean, any of you out there at the boat, I know there's a, a lot of you, well, not a lot of you, we ain't got that much of an audience, but I know there's a few that still do cruising and that. It's, you've obviously seen it a lot more than we do, how bad it's getting. Is it irritating you yet? Are you moaning about it yet? I don't suppose, it's like everything else, isn't it? I don't suppose anything we bloody do. Nothing we can do about yeah, it. There'll always be an excuse or a yeah. reason or oh, I can't yes. do it because of this or that and the next thing and it won't be their fault, it'll be someone else's fault. And I'm pretty sure, and someone did tell me that in the, actually I think I read it, in the TNCs of our licence, they accept no liability. <laughs> Sounds like a certain um, <coughs> thing we had, doesn't it? That did everyone so much good. <laughs> anyway, that's that for now, bye. <laughs> Hope you could hear me because Lee was obviously away from the mic. Well, that's quite a nice day. I enjoyed that. I do like going down into Stoke Bruin. But, um, yeah, end of day 29. What about that then? I think we've done really well to keep this going. I think you've done really well to keep watching it. So, uh, last day tomorrow, day 30. And I guess if you got this far, I have to say well done you. And, yeah, don't forget to keep watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Give us the old thumbs up and all that sort of stuff. And have a guess what? We will see you same time tomorrow. Bye.